This is in two parts, how to put the BME 280 into sleep mode to reduce the power consumption and then how to change its default I2C address so you can run two BME 280s on the same I2C bus. To begin with a demonstration of the sleep mode showing the power reduction and then running two BME sensors on the same I2C bus. Here's an ESP32 and BME 280 going into sleep mode. 0.54 milliamps is the result. Now the same thing again but this time with the BME 280 in sleep mode and it ends up being 70 microamps or 0.07 milliamp. Now running two BME 280 sensors on the same bus. On the right hand side is the serial monitor port. I'm going to touch the left hand sensor and you can see the left hand temperature rising. Then I move over to the right hand sensor and you can see the right hand sensor temperature rising showing that there are two independent channels of measurement. First a quick reminder about the device. Manufactured by Bosch, part number BME280, measures temperature, humidity, air pressure. It's very accurate, has good resolution and it's repeatable between devices. On the market there are generally three breakout boards, there's probably more, but the most you'll see are the two unbranded ones I've listed there and the Adafruit board. The top unbranded board is I2C bus only. Its default address is hexadecimal 76. The second board down and other unbranded is I2C or SBI bus. Again, same address of hexadecimal 76 and the Adafruit board using their Adafruit library for the 280, BME 280, has a default address of 77. So here's a quick overview of the code required to place the sensor in sleep mode. Send it the device address, begin the transmission on the wire bus on the device address 76 or 77 hexadecimal, write to the control measurement register at hex F4 address, write 00, zero and I'll explain that in a minute, end the transmission and afterwards the current consumption drops from 0.44 milliamps down to 0.1 of a microamp. How does this work? If you look in the data sheet at table 25, you have to write to the register bits 1 and 0 the number zero, 00 to put it into sleep mode. Its default mode from Adafruit is to place the device into what's called force mode. So we're changing the mode from force mode to sleep mode and that gives rise to the reduced power consumption. Now let's have a look at how you could use two BME 280 devices on the same I2C bus. I'll cover how to change the unbranded board addresses. So they're just a reminder, the default address for both types on the freely available on the market is hexadecimal 76. So in this example, I've wired in parallel two of the smaller boards, cut the link on the lower one and soldered a bridge on the lower two pads to change the address. Now I can create two BME instances in the code and then begin the two instances, so BME1 begin, BME2 begin, and the address set accordingly is 76 and 77. Now I can go serial print, BME1, read temperature, serial print, BME2, read temperature. I've now got two devices running in parallel. In the top example, to change the default address, you, there are three distinct pads on the board. In that orientation, there's a small bridge between the top two pads that needs to be cut and a solder bridge applied to the middle and lower pad and that changes the address to 77. For the larger of the two boards, simply connect SDO to VCC and that changes the address from 76 to 77. So again, that's fairly easy to use. So that can only be done on the I2C bus or it's only necessary to do it on the I2C bus. 
So implementing the sleep function, if you're using the device in a battery powered project is useful to do. It saves 0.443 milliamps, increases the available to use battery capacity. Uh, so therefore I would recommend it for implementation in any battery powered projects. Changing the default address of the device of these breakout boards is easy to do. And using de facto libraries like the Adafruit BME280 is recommended. It's a good, reliable library. And eventually a BME sleep function could be added to the library to remove the need to add it as a separate function. Although it is independent of a library. Hope you found that useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 